Hello guys. So I decided uh, after buying a few of these uh, cheap eBay LED drivers, I decided to actually put it to test and see uh, how much uh, amps and volts they actually produce. So this seller on eBay is selling this 26 mm XHP 70 driver which looks like any other driver okay nothing unusual it's a little bit larger than uh, some of those but 26 millimeter is uh, average and uh, when I apply well let's see I'm gonna apply 12 volts I got XHP 70 connected to it this is just uh, holding it to the uh, cooling uh, thing and uh, here is my meter which was just beeping on me I guess but let, yeah and it will shut off so I'm gonna have to restart it excuse me again these uh, things they don't stay on all the time but uh, here we go we're gonna measure amps in DC and I'm gonna apply 12 volts to it okay so let's see what's gonna happen and it, it has about a five uh, settings this driver so I'm gonna go through them to get to the highest one and then we go uh, to see how many amps does it actually draw so let's see Now I'm at a high mode and it draws our supply 3.3 amps roughly okay and they state and this is at 12 volts the driver is uh, from anywhere from 6 to 15 volts and it should be 4 between 4 to 4.5 amps okay so this is what you get at 12 volt supply all right I'm gonna disconnect this battery take it out and I'm gonna make it uh, 8 volt supply so let's go through these uh, hooplas again okay now we are in the high setting of the driver and it tells me that at 8 volts will supply 1.77 or so amps and it should be between 4 to 4.5 amps so this is actually very very disappointing driver okay well I'm gonna test another one I'm gonna test XHP 50 driver which they state it supplies it's right here is it right here hold on let me actually shut this light off because it's screwing my killing my uh, camera and this is XHP 50 driver that I just recently purchased and it should be supplying between 2 to 2.2 amps to XHP 50 LED alright so let me switch it over and I'll be right with you Okay, so now we have the XHP50 driver connect the XHP LED and the driver should supply 6 volt or 5.8 volts actually to be exact and 2.2 uh, amps as they stated but uh, the proper driver would be 2.8 amps to drive the LED in a uh, high speed pretty much okay so I'm gonna supply 8 volts to it first and let's see what's gonna happen okay so let's go through this hoopla first and there is the highest setting and that is 1.72 amps that's pretty disappointing uh, well let's see let's try again let's make sure we are in a, well, in a lower setting it's 0.3 and in this there is no way I can measure that 
But here is the high setting again. 1.67 amps. That's at 8 volts. Okay. And that's uh, pretty disappointing. So I'm going to apply 12 volts. And I'm not exactly sure, but I believe this driver is supposed to take 12 volts. But I guess we'll find out. If it starts smoking, I better disconnect it. Okay, so this is 12 volts and it has 2.5 amps, which is actually much better. I guess the LED would be probably much brighter at this point. And at the lower setting, 0.9. That's good. And let's just check the voltage on it too. Um, well, I got only two hands, so I'm gonna get back to you on that. Okay, so I hope you can see the mirror pretty clearly, but I'm gonna zoom a little bit more. And I just, of course, adjust the camera. Okay. Uh, you can see it, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, but you can see the mirror. Just take my word for it. And I'm going to again go through the settings on that driver. Just to get to the high mode. Which is right here. And it has 6.3 volts. Which is uh, way too much and a 12 volt supply okay if we gonna go to the uh, eight volt supply it's gonna have 6.1 6 6.15 6 6.16 which is actually way too much too. It should be 5.8 is the maximum voltage on uh, XHP70 and XHP50. So these drivers are a piece of junk. Um, I'm not very happy about that. And I'm gonna have to find a different supplier. And by the way, uh, to test, uh, if you like to do the test yourself, pretty much uh, test the voltage, you would apply the leads from the voltmeter parallel to the LED. And to test the amperage, you would apply the leads uh, to the amp meter, after you switch it to the amps, you would have to pretty much disconnect one of these wires here. Okay. And then connect uh, the leads in series. And that will give you okay. That will give you the amperage readings if you want to see it again okay I just go into the amps and I got it on 20 amps right here and uh, I'm gonna zoom okay this is going to be this is going to be 8 volt supply Oops, I missed this part. Let's try again. Come on, come on. Now we are in high. And it tells me 1.66 or so. Okay. That's an 8 volts. It's kind of hard to disconnect this, this thing here. So now if you're going to do 12 volts supply, 
that is in high and it's 2.5 amps which is uh, actually pretty good but uh, still it's uh, 6.3 volts and that's way too much for the LED so on a 12 volt supply it's running much better than on an 8 volt supply but it should not be this way it should have a constant current either voltage you will apply to it so just a little note on uh, eBay Chinese drivers for LED okay so now we get to my uh, original idea uh, which was actually uh, that was why I actually even started this test and that was uh, can we run the XHP50 and the XHP70 driver and uh, the answer seems like it's yes but let's find out okay and uh, I got a XHP50 LED right here and uh, XHP70 driver and I'm gonna start with uh, 8 volt supply first which will give me and the XHP70 which should give me well where is my original notes right here and 8 volts it should give me only 1.8 amps that was with the XHP70 LED so let's see what's gonna be here now and hopefully we're not gonna burn anything okay let's see and this is in high and it's uh, pulling 1.6 and XHP50 that's still pretty low okay the XHP50 uh, should take about 2.8 amps so let's uh, give it a little more volts and let's see what's going to happen now this is a low mode even lower stroke SOS and now we are in a high and it's 3.3 amps and it's pretty bright so we overriding the LED a little bit but I think uh, she should be able to take it okay let's see It's not even getting hot. So I guess uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a flashlight with uh, XHP70 driver and uh, put in a LED uh, XHP50 and overdrive it a little bit and let's see how long it's going to last. Well, thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day.